Math Story Introduction to 3 digit place value The tallest building The kids look excited It looks like they are going somewhere But where? Hello Uncle Math They wish together The kids are visiting Uncle Math's house Woohoo! It is going to be a fun filled night As the kids take their places on beds Uncle Math is set to tell them a beautiful bedtime story. Kids, what is the tallest building you have seen? I saw a building with two floors. I saw a building with five floors. Once there was a small village with only nine members. All these nine members wanted to live together. Hence, they started living in a small house with nine rooms. They called this house, One's House. Seeing them so happy, soon more people wanted to join them. Since it was one's house, only nine people could live there. They could build another house. They could share their rooms with the people. The rooms cannot be shared as each room has space for only one person. They tried building similar houses, but they faced the same problem again. After many errors and struggles, they reached out to me. I decided to help them by building another house with 9 floors such that each floor accommodated 10 people. I called this house, Ten's House. Voila! Their problem was solved. They had ample space for many people now. They all were happy. You are a genius! When there were 43 members in total, they accommodated 40 in 4 floors of Ten's House and 3 in one's house. But wait! Soon the tens house started filling too. 50, 60, 70, 80 and 90. All nine floors were filled. This is tens house. Only nine tens can live here, they said. They were in trouble again. Oh no! Did you build another house then? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! I decided to make another building. But a very large one this time. I called it Hundreds House. Can you guess how many people could live there? As 10 people could live on each floor in Tens House, 100 people could live on each floor in Hundreds House. I guess. Yes, the Hundreds House also had 9 floors. But this time, each floor could accommodate 100 people. 100 people on each floor. Wow. The house must be huge. Soon, the floors of Hundred's house started filling too. 100, 200, 300, 400. At one point, there were 519 people. Can you guess how they accommodated them all? Oh, I know. They would have accommodated 500 people on 5 floors of Hundred's house, 10 people on 1 floor of Ten's house, and finally, nine people in one's house perfect they had enough space to accommodate many more people now they all were finally happy you are always so helpful uncle math says sirha uncle math smiles one, one more story, story please, please uncle, uncle math. math no no it is late already it is time to sleep he says and switches off the lights one Ten and hundred sweet dreams, everyone. They wish all together. We learned that one's house can accommodate nine ones. Ten's house can accommodate nine tens. Hundred's house can accommodate nine hundreds. Always be helpful in time of need. Let's discuss. Where were we going today? What was special about the one's house? What was special about the ten's house? What was special about the hundreds house? Uncle Math always helps people in need. What kind of person is he? Have you been helpful anytime? Explain. Follow us on fun to do labs to enjoy watching more such math stories, songs and games.